Hey SpaceX fans, we're back with another video for you to quench your thirst for all things space. So buckle in, because we're going on a flight to the stars. But before we move on, make sure to press the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss out on any of our latest space niche videos. In this video, we'll bring you up to date with the recent developments in the crazy world of SpaceX. Elon Musk's space company set records for reusability and more. From Starship to Starlink to civilian flights, the company is growing a monopoly in space. SpaceX is just months away from its 20th anniversary of founding in 2002, and it's headed into a new year in a stronger position than ever. In 2021, the California-based company built its strength in fields ranging from broadband communications to human launches. The steady push by SpaceX into space exploration and eventual Mars landings is rapidly disseminating into popular culture, especially in the form of its fiery CEO and founder Elon Musk, who puts musings and predictions on Twitter almost daily. This year alone, Musk began, reportedly, accepting payments for missions in the cryptocurrency Dogecoin and made a Saturday Night Live guest appearance in which he participated in multiple skits, even playing the Nintendo supervillain Wario. Musk gave an interview in Time Magazine, where he was named the 2021 Individual of the Year, in which he outlined the vision for the company. The goal overall has been to make life multi-planetary and enable humanity to become a space-faring civilization, Musk told Time, discussing usual aspects of his vision, including reusable rockets and landing on Mars. SpaceX will try to fly a starship to orbit for the first time early next year, if all goes according to plan. The company is targeting January or February for its first Starship orbital launch attempt. SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk said Wednesday, November 17th. And that initial landmark leap will ideally be followed by a number of others shortly thereafter. We intend to do, hopefully, a dozen Starship launches next year, Musk said during a live-streamed presentation at the joint fall meeting of the Space Studies Board and Board on Physics and Astronomy both of which are part of the U.S. National Academies of Sciences, Engineering, and Medicine. Maybe more. Starship consists of two elements, both of which are designed to be fully and rapidly reusable. A huge first-stage booster known as Super Heavy, and a 160-foot-tall, 50-meters spacecraft called Starship. Both are powered by SpaceX's next-generation Raptor engine, 6 in the case of Starship, and 29 for Super Heavy. At the moment, at least, the booster will eventually sport 33 Raptors, Musk said. SpaceX is developing this ambitious transportation system to get people and payloads to the moon, Mars, and other distant destinations. Ultimately, Starship is designed to be a generalized transport mechanism for the greater solar system, Musk said. SpaceX has launched a handful of test flights with Starship prototypes from its Starbase facility, which is near the south Texas village of Boca Chica. But those hops reached the maximum altitude of about 6 miles, 10 kilometers, and featured vehicles with just three engines. The upcoming orbital test flight will involve a Starship prototype called SN20, which has the full complement of six Raptors and a 29-engine Super Heavy known as Booster 4. The duo will lift off from Starbase. SpaceX could not launch the mission right now even if it wanted to, because the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, is conducting an environmental assessment of the orbital launch activities at Starbase. That review is expected to wrap up by December 31st, FAA officials announced recently, and SpaceX intends to get off the ground not long after. But we shouldn't expect a picture-perfect flight, Musk said. There's a lot of risk associated with the first launch, he said, so I would not say that it's likely to be successful, but I think we'll make a lot of progress. That envisioned progress will lead to roughly a dozen launches over the course of the year which should prove out the Starship system enough for it to begin operational missions in 2023. SpaceX already has some customers for Starship. For example, Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mizawa booked the vehicle for a flight around the moon, with a liftoff targeted for 2023. And earlier this year, NASA selected Starship as the initial human landing system for its Artemis program, which aims to establish a sustainable human presence on and around the moon by the end of the decade. The first crewed Artemis moon landing will take place no earlier than 2025, NASA Chief Bill Nelson recently said. The agency had officially been shooting for 2024. Over the long haul, SpaceX intends to use Starship to help colonize Mars, thereby making humanity a multi-planet species. 
a long-held and oft-stated ambition of Musk's. Starship could even help humanity planet hop from Mars to the dwarf planet Cirrus, the largest object in the asteroid belt, to the moons of Jupiter, as long as we set up some propellant depots along the way. And in this grander vision, it wouldn't just be a few starship craft making such journeys. I think in order for life to become multiplanetary, we'll need maybe 1,000 ships or something like that. Scaling up production to meet that envisioned demand, especially for the engines, given that 33 will power each super heavy, will be a big challenge. But SpaceX is already gearing up to meet it, noting that the company is now building the factory to make lots of starships and make lots of engines in parallel. That factory is in McGregor, Texas, where SpaceX does its engine testing. Musk has made no secret of his ambitions to reach the moon and one day colonize Mars to make humans a multiplanetary species. The next really big thing is to build a self-sustaining city on Mars and bring the animals and creatures of Earth there, he told Time. Sort of like a futuristic Noah's Ark. We'll bring more than two, though. It's a little weird if there's only two. First, however, astronauts must return to the moon, and Starship is only one of two spacecraft in production with the capability to land astronauts back there. NASA's own space launch system, SLS, part of the Artemis program, has suffered budget overruns and delays in development, pushing back its first crewed landing until at least 2025. No firm date has been set in January for Starship's orbital test launch, which follows a series of increasingly successful suborbital flights from Texas over the last two years. If successful, Musk has said up to a dozen further flights could follow in 2022, with Starship's first lunar voyage, a space tourism venture funded by Japanese billionaire Yusaku Mizawa, set for 2023. O'Keefe, meanwhile, remains cautious about Starship's deeper space capabilities for humans despite its size and innovation, given that it relies on the same chemical propulsion systems used in spaceflight since Yuri Gagarin took the first trip and Alan Shepard was right behind him. Mars is 65 million miles away, he said. Cutting the distance can only be achieved if you add space propulsion, and right now we have none of that. We have no means to achieve it. No one on this rock knows how to do that. The second thing we don't have is the means to provide shielding sufficient to preserve human life. As it stands, the radioactivity is so extraordinary, you wouldn't make it, much less get back. Those are the two fundamental limitations I see in anyone being able to achieve anything much beyond the lunar objective at this stage. With this, we've come to the end of the video. Congrats on having a great attention span. Let us know how excited you are about the new ventures of SpaceX down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe for similar content. Until we meet next time.